Hey YouTube, On Point FT here with a more detailed comparison review between these two holsters. I did a quick review a little while back and uh, just wanted to give them a fair shake, do something more in, in depth and go through all the different components so you can see a true difference between these two holsters. Both of them are same, the same in their concept and design that you've got the leather backing, you've got the Kydex holster and you've got the two clips to help distribute the weight on your belt. But there's definitely some differences uh, between them, and I'm just going to point those out. I'll start with the leather of the uh, Galco King Tuck. The leather of the Galco King Tuck is definitely uh, softer and perhaps too soft because the firearm has printed through and it's made it uh, quite uncomfortable to wear in daily use. The uh, construction of this is that you've got two pieces of leather that are sewn together and it's already starting to separate and this is after six months of use, of daily use. Going to the leather of the Crossbreed Super Tuck, this has had four years of daily use. The leather on this, the whole construction of this, has held up exceptionally well, especially in comparison to the Galco King Tuck. I live in a hot climate and I do sweat quite a bit and this is the cowhide version held up very very well. They say even the horsehide version uh, does better with uh, against moisture but there hasn't been an issue with uh, this one here and this is the cowhide version. Onto the cut of the leather. Crossbreed has uh, this cut out here which makes sense because it, this will wrap your leg and it's quite comfortable. If you look at the Galco King Tuck, this comes down and my leg's right there. And so this really creates a pressure point on my leg that is quite uncomfortable because this comes down and two, because the firearm has printed through. So for leather, I will definitely give the win to Crossbreed Super Tuck. Leather is by far superior. On to the clips. The clips, I will start with the Galco King Tuck. They're very, very loose. And the only thing that I found that that is good for is uh, putting the holster on and taking the holster off. Uh, I've had the holster come out of my belt, getting in and out of my truck. And for me, if I, you know, that's unacceptable because if I have to draw my firearm I want my holster to stay in my belt and I want my firearm to come out. Crossbreed Super Tuck the, the retention is great. Uh, it's stiffer, it's a little more difficult to get on and off but I'll tell you what it's well worth it. On to the Kydex. Kydex of uh, both of them, I don't know exactly what they're made up of if there is a difference but However, it's let's just say it's molded a little bit differently. The uh, Crossbreed Super Tuck is definitely faster on the draw for me, uh, smoother to reholster. So I will give the win on the clips to the Crossbreed Super Tuck. I will give the win on the Kydex to the Crossbreed Super Tuck. So all things considered, on these two holsters, design, the way they cut the leather, leather Kydex clips goes to Crossbreed Super Tuck and on to options. Crossbreed Super Tuck offers a lot more options. Like I said earlier, you can get it in the horse hide. You can also get it in the combat cut. And I think the Galco King Tuck is only available in the, in the combat cut. So with that being said, uh, the only advantage that I would give to the uh, Galco King Tuck is the availability. It seems as if it's available in every store. Um, so, with that being said, this takes six to eight weeks, Crossbreed Super Tuck, and I would definitely wait. I'd go get yourself a uh, Uncle Mike's $20 in the waistband holster until this arrives. But my opinion, Crossbreed Super Tuck takes the cake, definitely wins. Thanks for watching.